Hi everyone, it's Sonia from Angel Light Healing here. Thank you so much for joining me. This is your uh, general angel card reading for today, Tuesday the 10th of September. So as you can see, I've already gone ahead and selected the cards for you. If you are after your own general reading or a twin flame reading, or even a distant healing or a healing in person, get in contact with me at angellighthealingatoutlook.com. You'll find all the details below anyway, guys. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so now. And thank you for those of you who have already subscribed. And thank you so much for your beautiful comments as well. I really appreciate them. So with this reading, just take what applies and leave the rest. This can apply to any area of your life. It could be your job. It could be your health finances, relationships, um, yeah, just not everything will resonate with you, so just take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay, guys, let's get started. The first four cards are from the messages from your angels, and the first card you got is Azure, okay, which actually means blue, um, and it is a blue card. They're saying here your desired outcome will occur in the very near future. Have patience and faith. And don't try to force things to happen. Okay. With this card, being blue firstly, blue represents emotions. Perhaps your emotions have been up and down lately. You've been feeling more emotional or more sensitive towards other people or energies, environments, chemicals, you know, in foods and drinks, all that kind of stuff. So just be mindful of that. Okay. Blue also represents your throat chakra. This can also mean you wanting to get your point across, you wanting to express your truth, okay, so this is important that you take care of yourself, your emotions, and really get out what it is that you want to say, but this card is symbolizing that what it is that you've prayed for, your goals, your dreams, your desires, it's coming to fruition, okay, so the angels are asking you to please have patience, you know, don't try and push yourself, don't try and force or control the situation, okay, just go with the flow, blue is water, all right, this can also represent Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces energy as well, so just go with the flow, look at things from a higher perspective, see how this female is flying above, this is about you flying above all the crap that's happening down here below as well, so this is about you um, really tuning into your own being, finding that inner peace, you've got one two, three, four doves in this card. So this is about you, um, yeah, wanting to feel more at peace within yourself, within your being, your mind. Um, and they're saying here that it will happen. Just allow the universe to deliver these gifts to you, okay? Don't try and control it or force it. The next card is another blue card. Again, same applies. Francesca, what do you desire right now? Visualize that and it will come about. Negativity will block your progress. Okay. So again, your dreams and desires, they're coming true, but they're asking you not only to maintain patience, but also to have faith and trust. Faith and trust in the universe and also to catch yourself when you're thinking something negatively. All right. Change it to a positive. So focus your intention on the goal. What is it? Better health, improved lifestyle? Is it to increase money in your um, yeah, in your life? Is it to get a, a new job, to start that business idea you've been procrastinating about? Is it to, you know, take that leap of faith and um, speak up to someone you've been holding back from? It could be a relationship as well. So, you know, having faith and just going for it and seeing what comes. So again, um, I feel like you're coming to an end with something and starting something new here. All right, lilies represent endings. Um, the full moon is about letting go of negativity. Okay, so clearing that to make room for the new that's coming in. The next card is Celeste. Yes, okay. So for some of you, they're saying here, happy move to a new home or place of employment is in the works. This movement will usher in positive new energy. For some of you, this is the change that you're going through and this is the emotions that you're experiencing perhaps because you will be moving home or employment. This is confirmation that that will happen and it is going to be positive. Look at this female. She's coming out of the darkness and she's going towards the light. So again, not only from a higher perspective, but this is about you seeing things in a new light. Okay, feeling lighter within your being. This card is purple. Purple does represent 
um, Archangel Michael and also Archangel Zadkiel, okay, who exudes that beautiful violet flame. All right, so this is all about protection. You are divinely guided. You are divinely protected during, during these times of change, okay? The next card, what do we have? There you go, pink, love it. Serafina, I'm the angel of families. A happy change or addition is coming to your family, so don't worry. They're saying to you, they're reassuring you that everything is going to work out for you and for all involved, okay? For some, there will be a new addition. There will be a child, a newborn child, who is born or um, who's yet to be born. So this will bring much joy and happiness into the home. For others, there's definitely a new beginning. Um, there could be a new pet uh, coming into the home, a new car, a new purchase. This could definitely also involve that change in home um, or again, change in employment. But this will be very, very positive. Pink is all about love, okay? So pink is rose quartz. It's a crystal of love. It's about emotional healing and it's about promoting love in your life. But this is also reminding you to love yourself first, be kind, be gentle, be patient with yourself, but also nurture yourself. Give yourself that loving care that you give to others, okay? The next card's from the Crystal Angels. We have, uh, I think you say sugar light. I think that's how you pronounce it. Own your divine power. Replace codependent people pleasing with assertiveness and empowerment. Yeah, don't give your power away to others. Okay, you are powerful, you are strong, you're courageous, you're fearless. You know, get that power from within and move forward fearlessly. Move forward with strength, you've got this. Okay, so use your divine power to heal yourself, to nurture, to love yourself, to help others as well. But ensure that you're getting enough sustenance in your life to imbalance as well. Make sure that your giving and receiving is in balance too. Okay, so the power's within you. There is a gold cup here. This is about you filling your own cup, okay? If you're finding that you're on empty, don't give your energy away to other people. Don't do that just to please others. Fill your own cup. You need to fill your own before you give it to others because otherwise you'll be depleted of energy, okay? Important lesson that I've learned this last week. All right, the next three cards are from the Butterfly Angels. Yeah, be true to you. Okay, so this is again just reassuring and um, confirming that it's important that you are your true self, um, not only when you're alone, but also with others. Be honest, be open. Okay, don't hide, there's no need to. Perhaps you've been scared from, or you're, you try to avoid confrontation. This is where you find your power and you speak your truth, but in a loving way. It doesn't have to be in a confronting um, way that will hurt people. Okay, so be true to you. What is it that you want? Why are you putting yourself last? Get some rest. Yeah. For some of you, you've just been going too fast for too long and the universe, your body is telling you, you need to slow down. You need to take it easy. You need to have that balance. Okay, for some of you, you've been polarized too much in one area of your life and you're not giving your body that time out that you need. So the butterfly angels are saying here to get some rest. The next card is a windfall. Fantastic. This could definitely be the happy change that's coming. For some of you, you're going to be coming into money. Uh, for some, it might be a lot. For others, this will be a promotion of some sort. So the change in job, you might win Ted's Lotto. This might also relate to an inheritance that you'll be receiving. Um, but yes, this will bring... Um, yeah, this will make things a lot easier for you, okay? This windfall, perhaps, for some of you is what you've been waiting for, what you've been waiting to hear. Um, you will always be supplied for. That is important for you to know, okay? You'll always have everything you need. But everything you need is within you as well, okay? So that's very important too. Next three cards are from the Magical Messages from the Fairies. Let go. Yeah. Let go of control. Okay, just like what I said before, let go of what is not serving you. This can be people, energies, relationships. This can be toxic um, behaviors, foods, chemicals, additives within foods. It's time for you to do a cleanse, let it go. Okay, this can also be you letting go of negative thoughts, letting go of, you know, that um, overwhelming negative chatter that's just weighing you down. It's not serving you. 
okay so again look at things from a higher perspective once you let go and you release what no longer serves you whether it's people um, or food or you know uh, toxic behaviors then you'll start to notice that you'll feel lighter within your being you'll feel clearer as well don't forget guys to spend time in nature too the next card is debt paid off. Well, there you go. For some of you, your windfall is going to be so big that you're going to be paying off your debts. So that's fantastic. For others of you, you're focusing on, on getting on top of your bills, paying off your debts. So you're wanting to make a change in job. You're wanting to increase your income. You might be starting a new project to do this. All right, there are ways. But they're saying to you, um, yeah, for a lot of you, that your debt will be um, paid off. And this will, yeah, lift you up to a high energy you will feel lighter you'll feel more at ease your desires within reach wow that's a similar to the first card you got what it is that you're asking for whether it is the money the, the fulfilling loving unconditional loving relationship you know the um also fulfilling job where you're happy and you're appreciated um whether it is to lose weight to improve your health it's coming. It's definitely within reach. Okay, the power is within you. I love that. Have faith. Have faith, guys. Two romance angels in regards to love. They're saying here, express your love. That goes along nicely with the first two cards. This is about you speaking your truth. What is it that you need to talk about? You need to get out what you've been holding on to. What's been weighing you down? What's been causing this emotional turmoil for you? So go ahead. Okay, and speak your truth to your partner. Or to the person you've been holding back from speaking up to. The next card is keep an open mind. Keep an open mind about this person who you may feel is, is um, you know, not in alignment perhaps or not, um, you know, agreeing with you. Uh, perhaps the person you're thinking about, you're possibly thinking that you don't have many things in common. Um, but this actually could be the one. So just keep an open mind here. Keep an open mind. Don't allow others to bring you down. Really listen to your heart here. This is what this card is telling you as well. Okay, listen to what your heart's telling you, not what others are telling you to do or how to go about your love life because it is your love life for a reason. It's your journey. Okay, the last card from the heart and the soul is this card here. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? The hearts, you've got the waves. So yes, for some of you, you've really been struggling in relationships here. You know, the ups and downs of relationships, the hearts, the waves, you've got the trees. I feel that this is like a twin flame card in a way because the trees are so similar. They're looking at each other, but they're leaning in towards each other. Okay, because you will always come back to your twin or they'll come back to you. All right, but for some of you, you've definitely been feeling the emotions here, the ups and downs, you know, the waves, the cold, um, and distance here. Let's actually see what the card is saying. As the seasons of life turn, remember your life and all of your experiences are driven by the invisible wheels of love. Life is an internal ocean, and death and rebirth are the rising and falling of the same wave. Attached to every ending is a new beginning. Yes. So even if you are, for those in a relationship, even if you are in separation, this is for the twin, um, you will be forming a new beginning. You will be coming back together. That could be the positive outcome that you've been wanting, you've been praying for. So your desires are coming to fruition. Okay. So what are the numbers? Well, what's the number for today? Angels, let's see. You have a six and a one. Number seven. This can be a lucky number for some people, the number seven. Seven can also represent the month of July, which is Cancer and Leo energy, fire and water there. Um, it can also be the seventh day of the month. Perhaps you have a child who is seven years old. Also, your house number could have a seven in it or add up to the number seven. Just take it how it applies, guys. But that is your number for today's general reading. Um, if you are after your own personal reading or a detailed um, twin flame reading, I do these via email. Send me an email at angelighthealingitoutlook.com. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to share and like my videos. And many angel blessings to you all. Thanks, guys.